what's up? A lovely good morning to everyone. I'm your host Avinash and you are most welcome in my channel, The Learning Destination. Guys, today I came up with a very unique topic and the topic is how we can monitor the influx DB. Guys, under this tutorial, I'm going to cover mainly three topics. The first topic is how we can install the influx DB on CentOS based Linux machine. Secondly, we are going to learn that how we can install and configure the Telegraph. Let me give you a brief on Telegraph. So basically, Telegraph is a agent which help us to collect the health check matrix of Influx TV. And finally, with the help of Telegraph, we will create a monitoring dashboard inside the graph now. So these all three topics we are going to cover under this tutorial. So just sit back, relax and enjoy this tutorial. Hey guys, one more request. If you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. So guys, now I'm going to start the practical sessions and firstly, I'm going to install the Influx TV. So this is the address that where I'm going to install the Influx TV 2.0. So you don't need to worry. You can just simply expand the description sections and from there you can just get this link. I'm going to give this link under the description sections. So you can see here, uh, I have successfully downloaded this. Now enter this file. I have successfully entered the file and this is the file. So now basically I'm going to copy. So if I go under this folder and basically I'm just going to copy these two files under USR local bin. This one and this one. Now I'm going to run the influx DB. So for the quicker one, I can simply go here and when I run this one, simply it can restart the influx DB. Uh, however, you can also run this as a service as well. So, but that will take a little bit time in the configuration. So I'm going to start like influx D. So now here you can see that the HTTP transport and the address basically the port number 99999 it means i have successfully started my influx db on the port number 999 right so i'm just going to take the duplicate sessions of the same machine and here if i check the port number so you can see that this port number is listening here okay so now i'm going to access the web ui interface of influx db so now i'm going to run this i'm going to access the user interface of influx db and it is running on port number 9999 right so the very first time when you have access the influx db user interface the something the dashboard will uh, you will you are getting the dashboard something like this then you need to click on get started after that here you need to create the username so i'm going to create one user admin and after that i'm going to set the password and organization name you can give and i'm going to give this organization name devops and bucket name i am also going to give monitoring then say continue okay so here uh, now you will get you are ready to go so there are many options that you can explore the uh, influx db it means that you are very new with the influx db so there is some uh, quick learning sections uh, by visiting this you can simply learn it but as of now I don't want to go in that because uh, my motto is something different for this tutorial, right? So I can directly jump onto the main target, okay? So when I reach here, right? So after that, I need to configure the telegraph. And as I mentioned earlier, like the telegraph is an agent which collects all the metrics of the 
in flux db and the same we can see inside the grafna dashboard as well when we configure at the end okay so now i am going to configure one telegraph okay so here and you can say create configure and here are different different options you can see that this is the system this is for docker kubernetes nginx redis right so just i am going to collect the matrix for the system so i select this i say continue and i am going to give this name telegraph only it's a arbitrary and it totally depends on you whatever the name you want to you can simply give the name as well i say create and verify so here you can see that we have got some executions over here right so i need to firstly place here so let me go so this is my system right where the influx db is running and this is the duplicate session so i am going to run it here and after that i am going to run the telegraph as well okay and i can give the ampersand sign so it will run in the back end it is saying that the command telegraph command is not found right so we need to install the telegraph first so if you see here here itself the documentation is given and then here you can come documentation release notes so here you can select red hat centos and you can see that and we can simply download this file i think there is something missing dl influx data telegraph let me try again so this time it is resolving later i was getting probably there was some network connectivity issue and that's why in the first attempt i was unable to access this url but now you can see that it has been successfully getting downloaded so here you can see that the telegraph is I have successfully download right now i am locally install it using the yum say yes I think today the internet is quite slow and that's why it's taking a bit longer time. So almost completed. i am thinking to pause my video because now it's updating all the repository which is under the yum and once it is completed then i will be back okay guys so now you can see that uh, i have successfully installed the telegraph and now i can run the command so these are the two commands let me export once again this one and then after that this one and i can run in the back end so it keeps running and now if i scroll it down and listen for data so you can see that it has been successfully synced with the machines it is saying that connection found monitoring is receiving data loud and clear okay so now we can simply do 
failures. After that, we can go to Data Explorer. And here, this is the bucket which I had created monitoring, right? So those who has already worked on the Influx TV, they definitely know what the bucket means here. So I'm going to select one of the, uh, I can say that uh, one of the sections and I'm going to see, I want to see my CPU utilizations, right? So I'm going to select the CPU and after that, I'm going to see the usage system. So there are various metrics, depends on your requirement, you can track it here, right? So you can see that in my, in this particular system, there is total two CPU, one is CPU zero, the second one is CPU total by the name of CPU total, okay? So I'm going to just run this query and here you can see that the utilizations of my CPU, right? So this is how the telegraph basically fetch all the matrix. There are a lot of matrix. You can just explore it one by one. And from here, you can also select, right? So there are a lot of matrix. You can simply just uh, collect it from here uh, using the help of telegraph and you can see that. So you can do the whole monitoring of your influx DB through the telegraph. Now I'm going to show you that how we can make this connectivity, this influx DB connectivity with the Grafana, and then we can simply just run some query over there, the Grafana, and we will see it in the dashboard. So basically I was talking about this bucket monitoring and the same which we have got that one bucket found here, right? Then after that, we need to create the dashboard, right? So few queries, so, I mean, the best way you can import any monitoring dashboard, uh, like uh, Influx DB dashboard from the, you can simply take it from the Grafna website and you can import it where you will get a lot of options. Additionally, this is just for testing purpose. So you can go here, dashboard, say add new panel, right? And after that, here I can select the data source Influx DB, okay? And I can run the same query which I have run here, right? So basically I went to Data Explorer and I have selected for monitoring bucket. I have selected the CPU utilizations basically. And then you need to go, I mean, there are a lot of matrix, it totally depends on you. Whatever the matrix you want, you can simply just run the query, right? So I say submit, right? So basically here, the Grafna here, we need the script, right? We need the syntax. So since we have just run this syntax, right? So from a script editor, you can take all these queries, right? And these queries we can simply execute here. So here you can see that we have started getting the all the CPU utilizations here, right? So it is just now saying that from 5.30 onwards, what, what was the uses and how much we have received, we have started getting all the metrics here. So guys, this is the way, I mean, I have just configured the simple uh, dashboard panel. However, you can take the customized dashboard, the Grafna dashboard from the Google and then while adding the data source, you need to select the influx DB, and that's how you can just simply explore more matrix inside the influx DB inside the graph now. Okay, guys, so that is pretty much enough for this tutorial. So now you can just do it yourself. You simply install the influx DB, and after that, you just create the your organization's user ID and password and log in inside the influx TV. After that, you need to set up the telegraph. And once your telegraph is set up, right, then after that, you can just start extracting all the matrix by running the queries, right? The same way you can add the new panel of the dashboard inside the Grafna and you can check in the Grafna as well. This is one of the ways. The second way is that you can simply just get more customized, most fashionable kind of dashboard from the Grafana. There are many more dashboard is available for Influx TV. And uh, I already told you the way how you can use the data source Influx TV as a data source, right? So in the same way, you can add it and you can make the more beautiful dashboard, which gives you enormous information about your Influx TV. 
So this is what guys I wanted to tell you in this particular tutorial. Hey guys, that's all for the day. I hope you really enjoyed these sessions. I will catch you in my next tutorial. Meanwhile time, if you have any queries, please write me in the comment sections and I will help you there. Guys, one more request. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share my channel with your friends and colleagues as much as you can. Don't forget to press the bell icon as well. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till the time, stay happy, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching this guys.